Hi, good morning, and welcome to ACT End of Voice. We're so grateful that you took time today to view this program. We feel so excited that we could come in your home, on your smartphone, uh, on social media, wherever you're viewing this. Uh, for the next couple of minutes, we're going to get into God's Word. We want to pray for you, uh, this nation, your community, your family. So let's get into God's Word uh, this morning. The Bible says in Psalm 121, My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He will keep you. He who keeps you will not slumber. That's Psalm 121, verses 2 and 3. I shall not be moved. The very fact that you're alive this morning, you have something to be grateful for. You have something to be thankful for. I know you may have uh, woken up this morning with a little cricks and cracks in the bones and everything may uh, not be 100%, but that's okay. You're in the land of the living. And if there's life, there is hope. I want to encourage you today, like the psalmist, say it to yourself when you go to brush your teeth or uh, comb your hair, look yourself in the mirror and say, I shall not be moved. You see, in life, things doesn't always go the way that we hope, yeah? Uh, the road we, we took led us to a dead end. We, we are confronted with so many things that disappoint us, keep, keep, keeps us disillusioned. We feel as though, man, we have messed up. We have made mistakes. What about when the bottom just drops out and uh, maybe an unexpected death in your family, some financial struggle, something that's unbearable, maybe an uh, irresolvable situation with a spouse or a co-worker, man, I've been there. And sometimes you feel as though you're going to rip every hair out of your head. But don't be troubled. Don't be discouraged. Let's listen to what the Bible admonishes us. This book, it's not just a good book. It's just not here to inform us, but it's to transform us. And it tells us we should not be moved. You know, Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. My friends, as you're sitting there, maybe sipping coffee, uh, preparing to leave the house, or maybe you just got in, I want you to know that you can anchor your life upon him. Yes, uh, and, and his word. Believe in him and you will not be disappointed. You know, there's a time in my life where I felt as though, man, God, where are you in the midst of this situation? It happened not too long ago in 2016. Uh, my wife and I, you know, expecting to have a beautiful baby girl. And suddenly when we went to the doctor, we heard the horrific news that the baby no longer had a heartbeat. And we were crushed. We were broken. We felt like our world was crumbling. What are we going to do? in the midst of it. Here we are, preachers, we are pastors and so on, and just a mere weeks away from the birth of our baby girl, we heard this horrific news. Have you ever received unexpected bad news like I have? I'm sure you have at some point in, in time. What do you do with news like that? Where do you turn? Who can bring comfort? My friend, I found comfort in God and his word. You know, at that time, uh, we were so broken. We cried, as you could imagine, for days, my wife would cry, and I didn't know what to do, except to trust in God. I thought that he had a plan and he had a purpose. Doesn't change the fact that we were brokenhearted, but we found comfort in the word of God that says that God is near to the brokenhearted. And you may have woken up this morning with a heavy heart or a broken heart. You're going to a job that, you're, that you feel crushed, you feel disappointed. There's so many things that you wish could have been better. Well, you are a work in progress and God can work it out for you. Will you trust him? Well, let me tell you, well, when we had lost our first baby, at that 
uh, funeral service, I held the, the urn with the ashes. And I remembered the scripture that says in the book of Isaiah uh, that I will give you beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. And I found that so comforting. And that's the beauty about the Bible. Whenever you get a chance, open it, read it. It will encourage you like it did me. So it said to me that he will give me beauty for ashes. And there I was holding a urn with actual ashes, tears running down my face. I held on to that word. And you know something? God was faithful. He was faithful to his promise. One year later, God blessed us with a beautiful uh, baby boy. So while in July 2016, we would have lost one baby, God blessed us. One year later in July 2017. Isn't God amazing? I want to encourage you today to hold on to his word. I know things around us may seem dark, may seem bleak, and maybe you don't have to go outside your own front door. Maybe uh, your family life, it's under friends. Maybe you feel as though, man, I wish uh, we wasn't so loud all the time at home. Uh, we always not quick to get angry. I wish that we could have some more love and peace. Let me tell you, God, he is the Prince of Peace and he wants to come into your family if you would allow him. You can be the one that will stand in the gap for your family and you say, I shall not be moved. Yeah, like the message this morning, I shall not be moved. I have set the Lord always before me and I shall not be moved. So it doesn't matter. Remember the Bible teaches us that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Whatever has come your way, view it like this. It did not come to destroy me. It only came to develop me. When you have that mindset, when you have that, uh, that, that, that before you, it develops faith within you. Uh, the, the stick to witness that I know that my God will fight for me. And he promised to do that. So wherever you find yourself this morning, before you leave the house, or as I said, you probably just got in. I want you to say to yourself as you would pray, say, I shall not be moved. My faith, my confidence is in God. Don't be discouraged today. And, and I, as I shared my testimony, one of my testimonies, I want you to know that God had been so faithful to us. Now, I was broken, my family was broken, and we didn't know where to turn. And sometimes you feel you look for help everywhere and no one was there. Let me tell you, God is always there. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. You could just call out to him. Now, prayer does not mean it's a lot of rhetoric, a lot of fancy words that you heard somebody else pray. It comes from your heart. It comes, uh, it's not that God doesn't know what you're going through, but he did encourage us to ask. What it does when you begin to speak to him, it's basically your, your offloading, you're saying, God, this is me in my mess, in my trouble, I need you. And let me tell you, you're not alone. We all need him. That's the reality. You know, sometimes you're in your struggle and you feel as though nobody understands, nobody knows, and nobody cares. But let me tell you something. Everybody is going through something. You go in work and that person that's giving you a hard time, they're probably fighting their own battles as well. That person that is just on the road <laughs> giving you some bad drives, listen, they're probably having a bad day as well. And so sometimes we have to be a little bit more patient, a little bit more understanding. Not everybody uh, may have had the opportunity like you are having right now to tune in to a wonderful program like this every day that you could receive truth from God's word that will encourage you and bless you and motivate you and inspire you and give you the courage you need to face your day. We're so happy here at ACTN, The Voice, that you took the opportunity to tune in. And again, the Bible says in Psalm 121, my help 
comes from the Lord. And another part in the Bible, it says that vain is the help of man. Sometimes we look to our friends, our family, and thank God for them. They may have their best heart, the best interest uh, in mind, but nobody can help you like God. He's there. He's just not only willing, but he's also able to do it. Many of our friends may be willing to help in that situation. They may be willing, but unable to, if you know what I mean, but God is both willing and able. And like the Bible says, he will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. God does not wear pajamas. He does not go on vacation. He loves you. He cares about you. And as you step out of the house today, I pray that you'll have a sense of confidence knowing that he is there, right? You don't leave him at home. You didn't leave him at church. You didn't leave him wherever. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Would you join me as we pray this morning? Father, we thank you. We are grateful for another opportunity for life, for health, for strength. And though God, maybe our bodies may not feel 100% this morning, we've dragged ourselves out of bed, but we are still grateful for life. I pray that you extend your hand of healing upon those that need a touch from you. I pray today, Lord, that as uh, my voice goes through the airwaves and in that living room, in that kitchen, uh, in that office space, I pray that your peace will fill that room. I pray, O oh Father, for that friend of ours that is watching right now, whatever situation that they're facing, that they would know that they don't have to be moved if their confidence is in the Lord. And I pray today that you give them bold faith, a fervent faith, that they will be bold and very courageous, that they will face all of life's challenges, not alone, but with your help. Help them to learn to, uh, to trust in you. Bless them today as they leave their home. Your word promises that they are blessed going out and blessed coming in, that they are the head and not the tail, above always and not beneath. I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and whatever they put their hands to do, it shall be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much this morning for joining us. We pray God's blessing upon you. I'm Anderson Mohammed, and I'm the pastor at Compassion Outreach Ministries there in Union Hall, San Fernando. Join us again right here on ACTN The Voice.